Hello, I'm Arthur Bletchley and I'm a Chartered Valuation Surveyor with B Valued Limited here in Cardiff, UK. I wanted to talk to you about comparative method of valuation, particularly as applicable to residential capital valuations. There's different types of uh, different methods of valuing property. The main one is the comparable method, but there's also the profits method where you're looking at uh, the trading accounts. And there's the contractors method where you're looking at the cost of uh, building property normally. Now, the Royal Institution Chartered Surveyors, the RICS, has obviously issued guidance on how a valuation should be done. Uh, you may have heard of the RICS Red Book or the RICS Valuation Professional Standards and the latest edition was in 2017. Also, which is particularly relevant as to comparative method of uh, residential valuations, is the RICS Professional Guidance uh, Information Paper on Comparable Evidence in Property Valuation, which was published in uh, 2012. So, where I'm valuing a property, that's a residential property, then I'm looking firstly for evidence of other properties uh, which are similar, which have happened recently, and, and which are local to the subject property. And in the first instance, my usual port of call is, is right move, where I'm looking for property to buy, but which has been sold subject to contract normally. And I'm looking for at least three comparables. What I do is I'd download the sales particulars and ring the agents uh, to find out what the street number or the name of the property is and the price that they've provisionally achieved. I have to say that the agents are almost invariably extremely helpful and I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking them for that help uh, because it would make uh, my job and indeed the, the job of uh, many people doing my sort of work much more difficult if uh, that cooperation was not available. Now, Rightmove, of course, is not the only property sales portal here in the UK. Um, also, there's Zoopla and On The Market. And one should be wise to looking for further properties there, perhaps. Now, also on Rightmove in, in particular, they've got a tab for properties that have recently sold, that, that, that is completed. And again, it's possible to uh, filter out uh, by postcode on a, an area radius basis, uh, time basis, um, and also property type. And that is a very useful source of information as well. Now, Rightmove, um, they tend to keep the old photographs, uh, but not the old sales particulars. But often they can be found on Zoopla. Uh, so again, one needs to uh, shuffle around from portal to portal to, to get the information one's looking for. Now, one wants to know about the, the areas of the property um, because it's likely that while the valuer will be familiar with the area, he won't have intimate knowledge of the comparable properties, not their areas. Now, the areas can be obtained by looking at the um, energy performance certificates where the uh, surveyor there will be measuring up perhaps externally or, or, or internally but at any rate um, they provide a, a net internal area. That area normally excludes conservatories and things like that. Occasionally having done all this one still won't have quite enough information and it may be useful to uh, look at the land registry uh, and possibly download uh, title plans and one can get views of the property from Google Street View or, or Satellite View. Right, having got um, preferably at least three uh, sets of, of details, one then needs to start analysing it. And of course, Excel is, is wonderful for doing this. On the left-hand column, we're, we're going to put the comparable numbers one, two, three. And um, then the next column, we're going to put the price achieved uh, and in uh, column three, the area. And then in column four, we've got the price per square meter. We can just uh, total that up, average it out and see how the 
comparables relate to that uh, average area. It, it may just be that um, one or two are, are certainly wild and they need to be rejected perhaps. Uh, and maybe one will need to get uh, replacement comparables in instead. I have found that uh, smaller properties uh, tend to be worth more or have a higher price uh, per meter squared than larger ones. So less, less is more. Now, these prices, they might need to be adjusted. As I say, if a property has got a conservatory, then that's probably been excluded. Uh, so one could, for example, take uh, 10,000 pounds off the price achieved and analyze the net price per the area. Uh, also, there might be garages or no garages, better garages, just car park spaces. Uh, and again, uh, an adjustment may be necessary there or, or indeed for other reasons. Now, I'm mostly doing RICS home buyer reports. That's uh, surveys and some surveys and valuations, in which case client will have made an offer for the property. And um, my purpose then is to see if the price offered is, is sensible. I, I used to do agency. And it, that's a business and it's not good business. Indeed, it's unprofitable uh, to put properties on the market at asking prices which are too high because you end up incurring costs which are not covered by revenue. And unsurprisingly, therefore, I normally find that asking prices or provisionally agreed prices are sensible. A rigorous analysis is, though, still needed to weed out the rogues. An RICS registered valuer should uh, not be working out of uh, the area he's familiar with and of course may have intimate knowledge of some all of the comparables that he's talking about and indeed may do a rough check to properties nearby which he has recently valued. There can be other cases where one's doing valuations. It could be in, in help to buy cases where the client is selling or staircasing. It could be for inheritance tax or probate as more commonly known, for example, or other tax purposes. And here again, the client will probably have an idea as to how much his property is worth. And that needs to be checked against the comparables. Uh, sometimes, of course, they're over ambitious and sometimes too light. So here I've discussed the comparable method of valuation in really its simplest form. Of course, one could look at uh, rents and yields in, in more other cases, commercial property, perhaps. And as I say, there are other methods of valuation, the profits and contractors method as well. And if you want to contact me uh, to discuss having a, a residential property valued, then I'm pleased to do so. Um, my contact details will appear on the end slide. Thank you very much.